Just imagine, in this tiny cube that measures one millimeter on each side and represents a volume of one microliter, there are as many as 1,000 marine bacteria and about 10,000 viruses. Thousands of different species of microbes have been identified, and this total keeps growing as new species are continuously being discovered. Shimi Ri from the University of Hawaii at Manoa is on the crew studying a certain type of microorganism. So my research on this expedition is studying the diversity of pico phytoeukaryotes. Pico phytoeukaryotes are really tiny microorganisms in the size range of 0.2 to 2 micrometers. So if you consider that a human hair is about 50 micrometers wide, you can imagine that looking at an organism in the size range of 0.2 to 2 is really difficult even under a microscope. Um, so in the middle of the word, phyto, which means that these organisms photosynthesize, taking sun's energy and breaking, making, converting it into carbon biomass. And these also are eukaryotes, which means that they contain nucleus. So these pico eukaryotes are really important in the waters around here, especially in the South Pacific Gyre around Easter Island, because it's been estimated that they make up about 40% of the total phytoplankton biomass in the surface waters to 200 meters. Yet no one really knows what the diversity of these organisms are. So for my research crews, I'm basically using two methods. First, I'm looking at the colors of these organisms. Like land plants, each photosynthesizing organism contains pigments or diagnostic colors that help in processes such as photosynthesis and even sun protection. So using these colors, I can tell what specific groups exist in what um, areas of the oceans that we are sampling. And then combining these pigments or color data with DNA or genetic fingerprinting existing in every living organism, I can figure out which of these specific groups of pico eukaryotes exist in a diverse range of conditions that we are sampling on this cruise. Alicia Wood Charlson from the University of Hawaii at Manoa is on board studying marine viruses. So I'm out here in the middle of the South Pacific to look at marine viruses. And so what are marine viruses? Well, just like everything on land gets infected by viruses, so you get the cold or the flu virus, for example, all the microbes that live in the ocean also get viruses that infect them. But the problem is, especially in this region of the ocean, we have no idea what's out here in terms of the viral community. So my goal is to go along this big transect and get an idea of pictures of the viral community at each station. So for example, off the coast of Chile, high upwelling, nutrient-rich region, really dominated by phytoplankton, that viral community is going to be very, very different than the viral community found uh, around Easter Island, where it's really oligotrophic, low nutrients, and mostly dominated by Prochlorococcus and cyanobacteria. Since viruses are so dependent upon their hosts for survival, the viral community is going to be very, very different between those, and, but no one has actually looked at that. And so in order to do that, I'm going to take large volumes of water and filter just like everybody else has been filtering. But instead of collecting the little stuff on the filter, I'm actually collecting all the stuff that goes through the filter. So all the viruses are going to be smaller than the cells that stick on the filter. And everything that goes through that is going to be considered the viral fraction where all the viruses are. And I have to take a really, really large volume of seawater. Even though viruses are super abundant, they can be up to 10 to 100 times every other microbe that's actually in the ocean. Um, even though they're super abundant, they have really, really small genomes. So just like organisms that they infect, viruses also have genomes made out of DNA. And so in order to determine the viral diversity, we can take those genomes and sequence them and find out who is occurring in these different regions with different hosts. We are currently transiting to our next station en route to Rapa Nui.